Love here, and I am so excited to share with you the verse of the day. Y'all, this one is very convicting and challenging, but it's one that we all need to hear, and it's straight from the mouth of Jesus. This is in red letter, so it's really important. Matthew 5, verse 43 and 44 says this, You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But get this, this is so good. Jesus raising the bar. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. How important is that? Not only are we to love those who are our enemy, but we're also to pray for those who are our enemy. And I think in this world, it can be so easy when you're comparing yourself to the world to think, you know, I'm doing a pretty good job. Like, I'm a good person. I'm doing good. How, you know, how much do I have to do to just slide by, to just get by in life, to just be a good person? But Jesus is raising the bar way higher. It's like, not only are you supposed to not hate your enemy, you're supposed to love your enemy, and you're supposed to pray for them. And I remember there was a time in my life where I was like, hey, I'm going to do this. I'm going to start praying for my enemy. And at first I thought, this feels so hypocritical. Like I'm sitting here praying for this person that honestly I have a hard time loving. I have a hard time even liking half the time, but I decided to do it anyways, to just keep praying. And what I realized is whatever hate I had, whatever you know feelings that I had that were bad, all of a sudden they started to just kind of diminish because I realized that person's a child of God. God loves him. I can love them, I can pray for them. And what I realize is it's actually not hypocritical to do that. It's actually you stepping into being who you're called to be. And so yeah, you're not being a hypocrite for praying for your enemy. You're actually doing exactly what you're called to do by Jesus. You're stepping into who you truly are. So the enemy's gonna say, what a hypocrite you are. But God's saying, you're exactly where you're supposed to be. So today, think about the person in your life who is your enemy. Don't just love them, pray for them. And that prayer is going to help you love them. It's going to help you see things.